Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. I'm going to make a quick video showing what I did to resolve an issue that I have in uh, JDeveloper. Actually, it may not resolve it, but I wanted to show that it is happening on my computer. And basically, um, what was happening was I was creating a uh, template and then packaging it in a jar file and then using that new uh, template or that template in a new application. However, when I copied the new application into a new directory and my file system, the link to the uh, jar file did not work. And um, in order to prepare for this, I cleaned out my system directory and um, any temp directories in my uh, system here, my computer. Okay, so this, this is the um, template that I have. These are the login files that I got from Frank Nippus's article on security for everyone. And this is the template. I'm going to do a deployment. I'll do a new one. And um, SSF template new. Just so we have it. Uh, the library dependencies um, connection jar options. Uh, this is where we're going to send it to. Okay, it's got the manifest, and I'm going to do stop processing just in case. <clears throat> so, and also you'll notice that um, on the double, if you double click the view controller and go to the libraries and class path, this has the ADF model runtime. Where is that? There it is at the bottom, and this, which are required for this application um, because the beans call to it. Okay, so now let's do a deploy. See, that's what I don't want. I need to click on that. And then what's going on here? Before I just did the jar file. Oh, this is it. Okay, so, uh, okay. So we're going to do it, and we'll look at the deployment here. Deployment is finished, and there it is. Okay, I'm just going to move it into my libraries directory here, and uh, now what we're going to do is close this out. And over here, I'm going to do a new connection file system. And it's SSF template new directory path test the connection success. Oh, and if you don't notice, it's all the way down here. Not very nice of them to put it there, but <clears throat> now you can see it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is a new application, Fusion Web application. I'm going to do a very quick and dirty one. Um, we'll call it tester uh, template. And basically, that's it. Now, I just want a very quick and dirty. Um, OK, so let's go and we will. Sorry, I'm going to do new business components. I'm going to stop this. I'm just going to um, create a, a very quick model. There's no reason for you to see this. OK, so uh, I've got the model done. I'm going to do a new and uh, we're going to do JSF page. And you'll see that I don't have any template here. Um, so now I'm going to do add to project add library okay and now when i do a jsf page where is it new figures it's at the very top we'll just do main and we'll use ssf template
and um, I'm going to make a task flow. And um, so hold on, please. You know what? I won't make a task flow. I'll just do the login. I'm going to do security now. And we'll just do a very simple. Um, this. OK. And uh, whoops. Now I'm going to do users. Okay, um, we'll just do a quick ER roll. And then the application roll also. And um, I'm going to add the ER role to user, Stuart. And uh, I'm going to assign the ER role to application role, AR. Should have an AR user, but that's OK. I'll fix that. OK, so we have this. <clears throat> OK, so. Um, Actually, if I have a task flow, then I can assign something. So I will make one just a sec. OK, so what I did was I created a task flow. And then I created a Java page fragment. And I put the jobs database or uh, table as a form on that um, JSF page or JSFF page. And then I copied the and then I moved the um, task flow onto our main template or our main JSF page. So. And then what I did was on the task flow, I granted it to AR user, while the web page is granted to the anonymous role. So now we're going to run this. Okay, just save everything and run it. Okay, I did run it, um, and I'll run it again here. Um, and you can see that I can open this up. And hopefully I type it right. And there it is, the data. So this is running fine. I'm going to stop this for a second. Actually, we'll just close that out. I'm going to close this application. Yes. And I'm in my file system. I'm going to copy this and put it in uh, my directory over here. Then I'm going to make a second copy over here because I'm going to test uh, putting this into SVN2. Let's go over to this one and open it in JDeveloper. Now, this is where the problem happened, is, is that the jar um, somehow, because I moved it in the file system, it did not read the jar. And again, here you can see that there's no jar there. The source is looking at the template. You can see the red marks here. I'm glad to see this, actually, because it did reproduce the error, although I'd rather not have the error. And um, if we go into the, sorry, into the view controller, you can see that there is reference to the ADF library. And if I edit it, I can see that the class path is there. I'm actually going to uh, remove this. OK, which now removes it from the file. I'm going to go to my resource palette and re-add it. And at that point, um, this will clear. There it goes. So that is um, a drag. I, I know this will run now because I've done this before. All right, let's. right, uh, I'm going to put the other one into um, Subversion. I'm going to just close this one out. So that'll take a minute, but I'll do that. OK, this is the other directory. And again, I don't even know if it's worth throwing it into Subversion, because really, when you think about it, this isn't working to begin with. Uh, if I throw it into Subversion, what I check out will be um, probably not showing it also. But it, it will be a test. So you can see that this is wrong. Um, OK, I've got the um, application loaded into Subversion. And I'm going to do a quick checkout here. Um, uh, 
let's do SVN. And if we open this up, it's in. How about that? That's unique. Even though um, the application that had it did not have the, it was, wasn't working, it, it is working here. Although I did do this one time where I loaded this, the working copy into Subversion and then checked it out and it was not working. So in fact, let me try that one. I'm curious now. Okay, what I did was I took the good working application and loaded it into Subversion. So just to take a quick, quick look, you can see that this is working fine. And I put it into Subversion here. Um, so we're gonna close this out. And I'm going to do a checkout from Subversion and I'll say add good app. Uh, is it good? doesn't look good, does it? Hmm. I think we're going to close this. Hold on, I'm going to figure this out. Okay, I just uh, closed the application and, and redid it. So now let's double click on here and see what we get. It looks good. Really irritating, though, the first problem I had. I'm going to have to probably do it from Subversion. All right, well, thank you very much.